boy. Let's call him Jeff. Father of Captain Lester. I dare you to do better. Oh, don't be so melodramatic. You're barely dead. It was a transfusion that really took its toll. You were out cold for two weeks. Transfusion? Your cells were heavily irradiated. We had no choice. God. Once we caught him, I synthesized the serum from his super blood. Tell me, are you feeling a uh, homicidal, power man, despotic? No more than usual. Why'd you catch him? I didn't. He saved my life. Uhura and I had something to do with it, too, you know. You saved my life, Captain, and the lives so of the... just... Thank you. You are welcome, Jim. There will always be those who mean to do us harm. To stop them, we risk awakening the same evil within ourselves. Our first instinct is to seek revenge when those we love are taken from us. But that's not who we are. We are here today to rechristen the USS Enterprise and to honor those who lost their lives nearly one year ago. When Christopher Pike first gave me his ship, he had me recite the captain's oath. Words I didn't appreciate at the time. Now I see them as a call for us to remember who we once were and who we must be again. And those words, space. The final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Her five year mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no one has gone before. Captain on the bridge. It's hard to get out of it once you've had a taste. Isn't that right, Mr. Sulu? Captain does have a nice ring to it. Chair's all yours, sir. Mr. Scott. How's our core? Purring like a kitten, Captain. She's ready for a long journey. Excellent. Come on, folks. It's gonna be fun. Five years in space. God help me. Dr. Morgus. Uh, I'm glad you could be a part of the family. It's nice to have a family. But, Captain, where should we go? As a mission of this duration has never been attempted, I defer to your good judgment, Captain. Mr. Sulu, take us out. Hi, Captain.